yeah hello guys um welcome back again to another edition of my video training in this video i'll be teaching you about developing a profitable digital marketing funnel so a lot of people do ask me in my trainings plan b what is a funnel some people even think that it is the normal funnel that we used to we use in cooking but well if you think it is uh, the funnel we use in cooking you are probably still right because the shape look exactly the same way and in this video i'm going to tell you exactly how to develop a marketing funnel for your business whether you're into network marketing whether you are a mini importer whether you are into digital business whether you are into selling of ebooks whether you sell courses whether you sell harbor products whatever it is that you are selling whether you are into real estate no matter it is that you are selling i will teach you how to develop a profitable uh, marketing funnel that you can use to make money from your business so join me yeah hello everyone welcome back to the uh, presentation part of our training on developing or creating a profitable digital marketing funnel as you can see the, this is the shape of a funnel the normal funnel that you are used to and this is um, analogically used it is not as if we actually use a typical funnel like this in digital marketing or in marketing generally but the analogy of how a funnel works is what we want to make use of in marketing that is why it is called a marketing funnel and if you look at this funnel uh, critically it has a um, different part at least it, it has two ends the upper end and the lower end and what is um, typical or what is very obvious about this funnel is that the upper end is wider bigger and larger than the lower end the lower end is small what is this saying about marketing what this is saying about marketing is that the the, the upper part which is the one with the wide mouth is the rich the amount of people you are marketing to the number the uh, potential number of people that could see your, your your shop or the number of people that could see your product for example if you sell something on the road one million people can pass that place in a day but how many people will buy from you that is the the lower end of the funnel where that out of every one million people that see your advert or out of every one million people that see your shop maybe two or three of them will buy that is why when you pour an amount of a substance, maybe oil or water or anything, at the at the upper end of the funnel, only very little come back, come out from the mouth. So it takes a lot of time for the others at the top to struggle down, down, down to come out from the funnel. So how does this explain how we market our products and services on the internet? And how are you going to be able to develop or create a profitable digital marketing funnel? For your business this does not matter whether you're into network marketing whether you're into forex trading and you want to be selling your services you want to be selling um, um signal services to people you want to be teaching people how to trade forex binary bitcoin um whatever it is whether you are selling herbal products whether you are selling um real estate whether you are selling skincare products even whether you are selling clothes whether you are selling fashion whether you are selling ebooks whether you are selling software or app, it does not matter. What matters is you have your marketing strategy in place. The strategy that attracts a lot of people to you and from there you now sieve to take the ones that will buy from you. So let us go in deep into what we want to do. Digital marketing. Uh, the marketing funnel. The marketing funnel actually has, um, this is the basic marketing funnel that a lot of people know. The AICC marketing funnel uh, there are some times that people give it different names like interest they can, some people can call it desire it, it 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 depends so what i want to tell you here is that the name does not matter what matters is that you understand the stage that somebody is in your business so somebody that is at the stage of awareness you cannot be telling the person to come and buy and i'm going to give you a typical example in my own business and in other businesses around even brick and mortar businesses like in ShopRite, like in and other businesses that we all patronize 
on a daily basis so um, this is the basic one the basic funnel the basic funnel has four steps the first step the one with the open mouth or the, the wide mouth is awareness the first thing that happens when you create your business is you want to create awareness you yourself you know your market you, you know you know your audience but you cannot just go and meet them and say you are my audience come so at the beginning you are reaching out to everybody you are making customers to be aware of your service of your product and this is the time you prove yourself this is the time you show them that you have the solution to their problem so in my own business in my strictly business.ng um, digital business this is the time i give you a free ebook this this is the time i write i say top five businesses you can you can do to make money in nigeria and i give a lot of values in that ebook you read it so the awareness is you are, i am using something to attract you so let's say 1000 people download this ebook so they are aware of me and my business first of all that is awareness so you want to sell diabetes products to people you want to sell you want to recruit people into your network marketing business you want to recruit people for you want to sell your real estate business to people you want whatever it is that you want to sell to people developing a marketing funnel gives more money in the long run there are other marketing strategies that give sharp sharp money but if what you want to build is a business it is better you focus on your funnel i am not telling you something from my head i am telling you something that is backed by my own personal research on my own businesses I, at least i have three running digital businesses today and some of them are not just running on, on laptop they also have physical presence where we, we deal with physical products that people have to buy with good money not ten thousand not fifty thousand not eighty thousand one hundred thousand and above so I, when i talk to you about different marketing strategies that i have used over a period of over five years on, on, on building this running these businesses i am telling you that it is important that marketing funnel rather gives more money in the long run than others i can say it anywhere now so you want to do awareness and awareness is for example you are selling maybe something for infertility you have drugs for infertility or for cancer so the way you want to build a funnel around it is maybe you want to write an ebook or you want to write an article or you want to write something just to create awareness introduce yourself and introduce your business that is awareness and you know what what is funny about awareness is that a lot of people are interested you see like 1 million people let me use that as a case study or let's say 1000 people a lot of people will be comfortable with, with 1000 people let's say 1000 people download the ebook 1000 people read the articles 1000 people opt in for your free whatsapp um, training you can you can do funnel for every for anything in january for example when i wanted to launch my mini importation master class which i eventually renamed 3 in 1 master class the first thing I did was I did a free WhatsApp, one night free WhatsApp training. And, 100 and about 170 people came from my, the email list I used was 1,000, around, around 1,000 people. I sent out the email 24 hours before. If the training was going to be 8 p.m., I sent it the night before. So a lot of people did not even see it. But 170 people got down to the place. Out of these 170 people, when I finished the training and I answered all questions, I brought out my offer. My offer, 18 people bought it within 24 hours. And the offer was just 4,999, let's say 5,000 naira. In fact, about five people paid that night. We've, we ended the training by 10 p.m. About five people transferred their money, pam, pam, pam. The second day, about, um, about 10 or 13 people more bought. I shall add 18 people down and I close it by 4 p.m. the second day. Pam, that is it. I was just running. The money was good anyway. The money is important too. But I wanted to see what the conversion would be like. So if, it, if this is a funnel, the funnel is I reached out to 1,000 people, awareness. 170 people came down, interest. Then consideration and conversion, I eventually got my conversion, which is money, I got 18 people. 
18 people times 5,000 Naira. You can calculate it. That's about 90,000 or, or thereabouts in less than 24 hours from a, 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 a list of less than 1,000 people. And this list, how much did this list cost me to get this 1,000 people? They were charging me, I think, 23 Naira per, per download of my ebook. So let's 23 Naira times 1,000 people, 23,000 Naira to make 90,000 Naira. I do not think it's a bad idea. And you now know the funny thing is that more people from this list have been buying my course back to back up to now. This is first week of February 2019. More people in that in that WhatsApp group of the three in one master class, and I have as of today, I have one hundred forty seven people, one hundred forty six people plus me. We are one hundred forty seven. Although not only the, the people are now not only from my website, they're from my list. I now have people from maybe advert on Instagram or advert on Facebook. At any point in time, I do this to compare and contrast which one eventually gives me more money and over time i realized that even now i think i want to stop my advert on instagram for this for that particular master class you know why because the people on my list are now are, are responding better so and that is a cheaper money for or a cheaper marketing for me because i already paid to get them on the list they are on the list they already believe me because i've created awareness i've moved past the stage of awareness for people on twitter the advert is doing all the work of awareness, interest, and consideration at time at 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 one time. I mean, at a time. So I, I'm just converting them from awareness to um, to conversion. Now I need to make a lot of sense for them to really trust me in my training. But the people that are coming from my email list, they have passed through all these four stages. Number one, awareness. They are already aware that this guy is good. They are aware of my service and they are aware of how my service can help them. Let me tell you, some people also download my ebook. They are on my email list. When they download the ebook and delete it, they are no more interested. They delete themselves from my email. They unsubs unsubscribe from my email list. So that, that means those ones are not interested. So from the awareness, we move on to interest. Interest is, let me give you another example with my own business. When people download my ebook, let's say 500 people have. I think on a daily basis now, I get about 100 people, the average of 100 people down to my mailing list on a daily basis. And this cost me less than 3,000 Naira advert per day. When I shoot it up to 5,000, I get like 200 more, 250 people per day. But when I want to, I want my advert to be consistent anyways. So because at the time, I want to know at what time is it dropping, at what time is it increasing, which time of the day is my advert running, which day of the week is the best for me. Are you following me? So interest is when 100 people actually opt in for my email in a day. They all download it. Let's say 70% of them download it because I know that from my autoresponder, I know how many people actually um, got the email. Let's say 70% of them open it. 100% of them will get the mail. 70% of them open it. Let's say 70 out of 100. Out of these 70 that open the email to download the ebook for real, about 10 to 20 of them normally mail me per day. These 10 people to 20 are telling me, Wow, I read your ebook. Ah, it's like you are talking to me. Some of them would write me an epistle of, Oh, I downloaded the ebook, I could not sleep. Ah, thank God I'm meeting you. God bless you. This and that. These people are picking interest in me and they are picking interest in my knowledge and they are picking interest in the fact that what I have meets their need. That is where I am going. Some of these people have just been laid down in their job. Some of them have just resigned on their own. Some of them have just finished school. Some of them have a good job, but they are looking for extra ways of making money and so on and so forth. Interest. So when they show interest, they, they forward you an email. So whether what you do is you do a WhatsApp training or you sell product or you when you give them a bait to let them be aware. A bait is the the ebook you are giving them or a free training you are giving them a free sample of your product or a discount. Say okay, log um, subscribe to our mailing list and we we'll give you discount or do this we we'll give you coupon. 
whatever it is. So interest is when they now take it a step further. When they read my ebook, they send me an email. From there, I will start to notice that these are, I think these are my own people. Out of these people, when I write articles and I send to them, they start to tell me on their own, sir, I don't mind that I was browsing online on your website, I saw some of your training, I do not mind to be part of the next class. Just imagine that. This is somebody I've spent 23 Naira to get down to my mailing list. And before you know it's conversion, I'm converting them into a paying customer. Let me now shock you. This is the basic version of the funnel we are talking about. So don't forget that we started from 1,000 people. As it goes down, the number reduces. From, from in my own case now, 100 people per day, 70% of them will read the ebook, will download the ebook, 10 to 20% of them, it fluctuates on a daily basis. On weekends, I think I get more on weekends, when people are, are less busy. So 10 to 20% of them will show interest and mail me back. I know because they will mail me back. They will ask me for that questions. They will tell me their, their challenges in life or financially and how my knowledge can help them. Consideration is we are exchanging email. I want to register for a course, but I don't have money. So I will say, well, let me know the next time I want to. Have. In fact, there is a guy on my mailing list. I think his name is Coyote. And I have, I have a training that I have videos for. And I engage my participants on WhatsApp every night, 8 to 10, for three days or for four, depending on the timetable. So this guy does not have a WhatsApp phone, but he has a laptop. So having a, having a WhatsApp phone or a, phone, a WhatsApp enabled phone is a prerequisite because we engage on WhatsApp. This guy said, I, I don't care. Just send me the link of the video by mail. And if I have any question, I will ask you by mail. Leave the WhatsApp. I want to pay. Send me you the details of uh, the details of the account I'll pay into. And I sent to the guy. I think yesterday or so. And the guy had already registered. I just told him that 8 p.m. tonight, when we start the class, he should remind me so that when I drop the link for video on WhatsApp group for people that are on WhatsApp, I will drop his own link to him via email. The guy has picked interest. He has considered me and my course and he has converted himself from an ordinary prospect into a paying customer. That is why the dollar sign is there. Consideration is when they are still thinking, you know, at a time when people are in my mailing list, they are in other people's mailing list too. So they are now considering, should I buy from this guy? Should I buy from that guy? All of you that you are facing challenges in your network marketing business, this is where you fail. Because when people join your mailing list, the thing is, come and buy, come and buy, come and buy. They have not even joined your mailing list. You're already telling them, this one will cure your asthma. This one will cure your ulcer. This one will cure your HIV. This one will cure your... In fact, this one will raise dead body. They will not buy. Because they have somebody else who is giving them so much for free. I'm not saying you shouldn't charge because I charge too. But you need to give first. That is what will take your people from awareness stage to interest stage then to consideration stage before they will now say, out of 100 people, let's say three or four people buy from me daily. That is it. That's my conversion. I convert about 4%. If I do an event, maybe a webinar or a WhatsApp group, I can convert up to 20%. But it is not every day that I want to be doing that. So the day I do not do anything, they just join, they see my offer, they get my email series today. So when we join my mailing list, this is what I do. After downloading my first ebook, the second day they get another email to download my second ebook. And that blows them away too. They say, wow. The third day they get an email from me that says, How can I help you? you? Introduce yourself and tell me what I can do to make you enjoy being on my mailing list. So they see it as this guy has our best interest at heart. This guy wants us to succeed. In three days, he has given us two ebooks, two valuable ebooks. And the third day, he's asking us what our problem is and how he can help us. Then the fourth day, I give them a, a, another free article on, I think, designing a website or something for free. It's a video of more than one hour. They watch it, they like it. The fifth day like this, I'm talking about my course. Yeah, I'm talking about my paid course. Because in the ebook, I've already introduced all those things that this is the business you should be thinking about, this is the business. Then I have a paid course for one of for some of the businesses. So when I introduce the first course to them, which is mainly importation, they'll be like, wow, I think this guy is, is in the right 
uh, place to help me. So they want to buy from me. Out of these 100 people, 70 people have uh, they've read the ebook. Maybe out of these 70, 30 of them are considering. Uh, I think the guy is good, but I don't have money. I think the other guy is better. I think the other guy, the other guy is cheaper. I think I'm more comfortable with the other guy. But my own people that are comfortable with me, they will consider me and say, I think this guy is, is good and his products will be good. Because if his free product could be this good, his paid product will be better. So they are converted into a paying customer for me. 3% out of 100, not a bad idea. 18 to 20% if I do an event, and that is massive. That is really, really massive. But the digital marketing funnel does not end there. It goes beyond that. When you have people that, see now, see, instead of awareness, interest, and desire, here, we have awareness, interest, and consideration. That's why some people will call, they, they change the name, they can, even interest, they can call it whatever they like, consideration, they can call it whatever. But what matters to me is that you take your people from one stage to another. Don't, when they join your mailing list, don't start telling them to come and buy. Take them through, nurture them. They call it nurturing. You nurture them, you ask them questions, they respond to you. Make your email list responsive. Don't let the email people receive from you be about buying, buying, buying. At a point in time, give up. In fact, when I do bonus courses for my paid training participants, I also make such bonus available for my subscribers for free. Yeah, because it's already a bonus for my participants. Why can't, make it, why can't I make it free, available for everybody for free? So I, I send it to my mailing list that, guys, I made this. Go look at it and everybody will say, and at any point in time, that is exactly something that one of them needs. And somebody will say, wow, you're a life saver. saver. You have just saved me money from Kinecon, Kinecon, because somebody was going to sell this thing to me at 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, and so on. And you're giving it for free. God bless you. And do you know what? That person, when next I'm going to sell, sell something, the person will be at ease to buy from me because I've not charged him. So, um, when people take action, which is uh, in this place conversion, when they take action and they buy from you, where do you go from there? You offer them good support. When you offer them good support, you assist them, then they are going to become loyal customers to you. Let me tell you, the first class, the 18 people that attended my mini imposition master class for this year, that I think first week of January, when I when we finished, I asked them to give me my, my, their feedback, and some of them were so happy to give me. I even told them that I also give you something in return, and they believe when I say that because even when they do not, I, I've I'd already given a lot of bonuses and a lot of more than what they paid me for. So I offered them support, and they were also offer me offering me support back. Some of them did videos, some of them did text, which I use as testimonies then they become my loyal customer. That is loyalty. So where our internet marketer, marketing guys get it wrong in Nigeria is when people buy from them, that is all. They cut the relationship. You send them an email, they say, send to my secretary, send to our support desk, send to this, send to that. They are no more available to pick your call or to respond to your email. So what do you do after that? What you do is you give them um, support and they, 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 they become loyal. When they become loyal to a level, then they become your advocates. Advocacy. When they become your advocates, they will go online on their own. See, I, when I did my first mini imposition master class, and I did three one master classes in one, when I wanted to do three one master classes in two, and I did the advert on Instagram, one of the participants from my season one came to that advert page and wrote something below uh, as a comment under the advert that this guy delivers more than he promises. I recommend this course. That is loyalty and advocacy. Advocacy is that I am starting season three of my class tonight. Season two, a participant from my season two class brought eight people to come and register for my season three. Eight, if not even up to ten. And he, he paid, she paid for four. Four. Other, when I was now saying that, oh, I got four people from you, I got the money you paid for, you said that there are even more than four that some other people paid on their own. Four more people. I don't know if any of them have joined the game today, but I know as at yesterday I could confirm eight people from her. That is 
a very high level of advocacy. She has not. She finished her own season two yesterday. Okay, I think they finished season two yesterday night. We finished season two yesterday night, which is the class she belongs to. I I just told them that season three. She said, "Wow, when next you are doing your course, I will recommend it to people." And she did recommend it to people. Eight people from one person. That is an advocate. And you do you know? Even if I have charged two two thousand two times eight sixteen. Of course, of course, it is much more than that. I think the the cost that is starting tonight is three thousand four hundred and ninety nine naira. Let's say three five times eight from one person who paid me two thousand and ninety nine naira to join the course. So if you deliver and you nurture your prospects, they will become your. They will purchase. When they purchase, you offer them support. They off, offer you loyalty back, and they offer you advocate. Let me tell you, you don't want your funnel to end at action or purchase level you want it to go to advocacy where people take their phone and do a video without you asking them to do so and they go on twitter go on instagram go on facebook to talk good about you and your business that is what a digital marketing funnel is and i've used myself as a case study here uh there are two things i want you to consider i want you to know about digital marketing funnel the first phase of digital marketing funnel is marketing. The last part where you make the sales is another is the sales part. The marketing part is where you are creating awareness, you are writing articles, you are writing ebook, you are asking their, their, their questions, you are educating them, then you are evaluating. So we, we do I think is my ideal customer. This one does not even have money and so on and so forth. But once they are committed, when they show commitment to you by paying for your course, by buying your health product, by buying your training, by buying your ebook, by buying the land from you, by joining your network marketing business that you want them to join, that is sales. And your, your business does not end there. Your work with them does not end there. It is just starting because when you turn these people to advocates, they are going to be the one to bring more leads to come to your business. So ladies and gentlemen, this is where we are going to draw the cutting uh, for today. I thank you so much for joining me on, um, on this course about digital marketing and how to uh, pre uh, um, create or develop a profitable digital marketing um, funnel. If uh, you think I have omitted anything, talk to me in, the mailing, uh, in, in, in our group or below the the comment box below this video if you have any question feel free to ask me your question thank you so much and enjoy yourself